so uh this uh so this stream uh, now um we've uh you know getting along through the alphabet we're up to bt uh bhutan and uh that uh this one uh, should be short you know not a whole lot to this country okay so we have our usual settings okay um so there is basically one, you know, like city in in, uh, in Bhutan. So you know, we we know, we know already from the appearance here that we're almost definitely in Timpu. Um, you know, there uh, there's some chance. You know, there is there is uh, if you follow the road south from Timpu, there is uh, another town uh, called uh, Puncholing, which uh, you know does have a few. Uh, you know, a setter that looks a bit like this, but it's 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 pretty small, you know. But I think, okay. Uh, so here uh, we have uh, a sample of the Dzongka language. Uh, that this is um, a language which um, people argue over whether it's uh, over whether it's a form of Tibetan or not. Um, it is descended from the classical Tibetan language that religious texts are written in. But uh, Dzongka is not comprehensible in Lhasa, you know, it's, uh, so this is, you know, a Tibetan language, not the Tibetan language, uh, I, I guess might be a, a way to put it. Um, okay, um, so we have... We have V. Wang, hmm. Yeah, there's actually quite there's actually a lot of kind of a a, a Wang theme, you know, in uh, in uh, Bhutan, you know. I might get into that a bit later. Um, let's see, Gelapu Bhutan. That makes me wonder, you know, like we could be somewhere else, but let's see if that's a neighborhood. Maybe um, we have Babesa, Simtoka. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking. You know, maybe the center of you know. It's probably not too complicated here that this is just the center of Timpu. You know, like uh, that. I don't think there's any place else. You know, that's this built up. Uh, although, ooh, look at that. Okay, we're at a, we're at a lower elevation. You know, this might actually be in Puncholing or um, one of the border posts because. You know that we have. Uh, in fact, I think those may be bananas there, which you know would would definitely be uh, somewhere low down. Um, yep. Okay. So yeah, Gelapu. Okay, I haven't seen this town before. Uh, I have played this stream, this uh, this uh, country, this country map before, but yeah, that's good size too. Actually, you know that. Okay, so yeah, so the so it's at. Uh, I I get it. It's at the other. It's at the other road that goes down this way, right? There are only a few large roads, and they they seem to have towns on the Indian ends here. This Sarpong prop. Yeah, this Sarpong is not quite as large, but. You know, uh, might have a few thousand people in it. Um, yeah, and then the the big one is, you know, the actual road south from Timpu. There's, um, here there's Puncholing. Um, you know, it's uh, sort of the largest one of those. Okay, next round. Uh, we have Kandu Construction Ha, Bhutan. Um, let's see. So you can see here... Um, <clears throat> That now we're we are actually, you know, in a more typically Bhutanese landscape than that last round was. That we have big, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, big uh, mountains in the background, and especially I, I noticed that you have this characteristic appearance of very very steep slopes, um, you know, and uh, that you know this is uh, 
you know, uh, you know, I, I mean uh, that, you know, after all, this is the e the edge of the highest mountains in the world, and you know, like you know, coming down from those, uh, you know, Himalayan heights, um, you know, uh, that you could, you would expect very steep slopes, and also it's a it's a geological uplift area, you know, like so it can maintain a higher slope. Um, than uh, than than that it could otherwise because you know it it uplifts and then erodes right whereas if it wasn't an uplift area the mountains would slowly wear away okay so ha uh, ha ha uh, with two a's okay I don't know where that is I'm thinking it's you know it has to be up in oh the ha uh, ha there it is okay ha 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 okay. Yeah, there are there are more small towns in you know than I than I was expecting. Um, okay, so if this is okay, so that's got to be the main road. Um, let's see, this big building might be. It looks like that. Could be around there. Oh no, actually that corner looks like it matches better. Uh right, you know, has the Yeah, I think that makes more sense. <laughs> they have a futsal ground? I thought futsal by definition was inside. Um you know, that's what makes it not football. Uh, okay. Maybe it's this maybe it maybe it's a futsal sized um piece of ground that is not indoors. I, okay, so it was that up there. Yep, yep. Here, uh, you know, this business, uh, the name Pema Wang Truck, uh that you know, going with our Wang theme, you know, that the uh the Royal House of Bhutan is the the Wang Truck family, which raises the obvious question, how much Wang would a Wang truck truck if a Wang truck would truck Wang? Um, and, uh, you know, that, uh, that, um, the, uh, the, the, uh, question, you know, it turns out if you research it a little bit, you know, like there, uh, it, it turns out that they, in Bhutan, you know, they, they actually is an interest in, an interest in Wangs, you know, that, um, you know, it comes from comes from Hinduism. You know, the uh, the it was the symbol of Lord Shiva, um, and that uh, sometimes you know, uh, I I guess you know I haven't encountered it yet, but you know you will you will uh, run into religious structures with with wings painted on them. Um, okay, there. That's a little country house. Um, yeah, in, in terms of level of economic development, I'd say, you know, like, this is probably similar to Sri Lanka or Cambodia, from what I've seen, uh, but they do have a lot of nice buildings, you know, the, uh, with the, you know, the Tibetan-style architecture. Yeah, so wh where are we? We're up above a valley on a road that switches back and forth going up the hill. Uh, let's see, it's kind of an east-west valley. I would guess that that might be, that might be vi correlated with this road. Um, you know, we're probably not going to find a, a whole lot to tell us where we are. Uh, okay, and it looks like it doesn't let us go that way. Okay, so we've got to go up the hill, which is, you know, never what you want to do in this situation. Um, oh wait, are we stuck? I think we're stuck. Yep. Click, 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 click. Yep, we're stuck. Okay, so that means that we can terminate the round early. Um... Okay, wasn't much point in looking around. I didn't think we'd know anything. Uh, well, 54 kilometers was still, yeah, uh, you know, 1,866 points because of the small size of the country, but 
Yeah, there there we have Jigme Singye Wangchuk National Park. That's the father of the current king. Um, and uh, so, you know, that this, this stream, by the way, will be, you know, full of, you know, you know free of hippy dippy bullshit about, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, fairy tale kingdoms, you know, that that Bhutan was an absolute monarchy until, you know, you know, uh, the early 21st century. And, uh, you know, like many fairy tale kingdoms, it occasionally had the human rights record to match, you know, a, a fairy tale, you know, that, uh, but they, they seem to have, you know, taken the lesson from the gruesome end of the Nepali royal family. And, uh, you know, now Bhutan comes with some democracy. Okay. Um, all right, so we got, um, oh, we, the, uh, yeah, there's, there's bananas again. Yeah, we have to be, we have to be again in one of those, uh, towns at the end of the road next to India. Um, you know, um, So what do I think? Uh, yeah, they've got these. Um, nice cars. <laughs> you know, this. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. It's that, it looks like that might be a church there. Um. I don't know. Actually, I'm wondering, is that India? You know, I mean, it looks different. Um, wait, are, is, is this... Oh, we're, we're in, uh, we're in a no-moving situation. Okay. Um, okay, well, I think I'm going to go then right on the border in controlling. Ah, yep, yeah, uh, it was Puntrolek, okay. Um, yeah, over here. Yep, yep, that's what that was. That was a church, Navjoti Church in, uh, in, um, then that's on the other side of the border, you know, that, you know, that near it, there's, you know, Himalayan high altitude uh, something, um, which is odd since this is not high altitude at all. You know, you saw the the uh, the bananas there. You know, like this is uh, the 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 Bhutan India border is you know hot and extremely wet. You know, like you actually see, um, you know, clouds of fog in uh, you know some of the pictures. Uh, you know, some of the views in this area. And uh, let's see, what's what's the town next to Puntrolling called? Uh, that's probably a a dry guy on. Sorry, uh, Jai Gong, that's uh, what that would be, right? Uh, looks like the label is in Bengali, too, which is, is this, is this West Bengal state? Um, it is, yeah. Okay, so the entire, yeah, it looks like the border with India is mostly in West Bengal state, you know, and it's in Assam on this end. Okay. Um, we've got... Wait, is that, is that, uh, is that not, uh, no, that's still Dzolka. I wondered about, there are minority languages in Bhutan, you know, there's, um, uh, a substantial population along the border, uh, uh, speaks, um, uh, you know, the language called Nepali in Nepal, uh, you know, uh, uh Gorkali, I think, uh, would be the term in India. I couldn't even find... Oh, that, this is a zero. Wait, is that is that z zero? Um, by the way, quite the born here. I've noticed, um, you know, British colonies that have elaborate borns, you know, have a yellow top instead of a the 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 uh, the the red top of the 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 completely magnificent French borns, which you see in uh, you know places like Cambodia and Senegal, uh, mostly. Uh, let's see, Tsendagong, um, 44 maybe, uh, is, um, where do I think this is? 
yeah, this, this, uh, yeah, we have to be some distance up to get this, but it, the altitude doesn't look real high. You know, this might be a thousand meters or something. Um, yeah, in fact, you know, there's still bananas, so, you know, like, we, we, uh, can't be very high at all. Um, let's see, that's, uh, Syndagong. Wait, there's Dream, uh, Dreamgong. That's uh, Tsindagong. No. Um, yeah, this is this must be coming, you know, like right up out of India, you know, like on the on the edge here. Um, let's see. Yeah, that. Let's see, so near point trolling, there's, it could be, could be up here, um, yeah, I think I like it, you know, like, maybe there's a, a bottom of the valley over here that we're looking into, um, Yeah, you'll notice, you know, terraced fields, you know, uh, also are a, a, a big thing in Bhutan. Um, you know, that you uh, have, uh, yeah, these, you know, sort of pole with prayer flag type things. Uh, you know, so there's a patch of corn there. Um, you know, something that you, you know, you forget that they have corn in Asia, but, you know, it, it comes up. You know, of course, this is not Hokkaido, you know, like there's not lots of it. Uh, okay, so that was this Daga Road. Um, yeah, so it was close to India, but, you know, maybe farther than I thought it was. So this road goes up from Sarpong, and then, hmm. Ah, so this road ends here, okay. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. And, you know, you'll notice that I... Everything was, you know, on these yellow roads here. Um, so the, uh, yeah, the uh, set of possible locations in Bhutan is not very big. Um, all right. Uh, so I guess that's uh, that's the uh, end of this game. Uh, and uh, you know, it's just a little country, so you know, just uh, one game. And uh, so also that leaves me room for. Uh, you know, doing more than one round on the next little country, BW, which is Botswana. So, um...